so uh, in this module we'll talk about the server side programming and we'll also talk about the security aspects because uh, as i have mentioned in the prior modules that T uh, tcp ip was not built for exchanging uh, confidential data to perform e-commerce so security aspects are there and they need to be covered the security aspects are covered through firewalls through proxy servers through digital certificates through secured http and then of course there are other issues also which is the authentication which is the authorization and the list goes on so these are the security aspects that will be covered in this module also what i will cover in this module which is the introduction to the main thing so this is just the introduction of the main aspect and the intro of the intro over here is that i will also cover uh, what is the programming done for the with reference to the APIs with reference to the CGI and with reference to the other other programming aspects and the modules and the techniques and the technologies which are with reference to the server side and I will also give you very very briefly the advantages the disadvantages and the issues which are associated with it so let's uh, start with the details so I have this uh, CGI common gateway interface and the programming is done using C using uh, C sharp also and uh, traditionally it was done in Perl the advantages are it is uh, it is independent of the platform independent of the language being used so it is very flexible it is independent of the server being used so the advantage is that the possibilities are limitless and then we have this extended CGI also which also supports independence which has certain features also and then we have those uh, server APIs which are the extensions like we have the extensions in the browser and then the, the vendors uh, make their own APIs also the advantage of these APIs and these extensions are they give good performance but the the downside is that they have a certain level of complexity associated with them and we, we have the CGI's versus APIs and the proprietary HTTP servers now these uh, these give performance but they have the issues which are the architectural issues which are the dependence issues so one has to look at a trade-off do a trade-off that which is important or how important uh, one thing is the performance or the maintenance or going along with it for on, on, on a long term basis so that will go into more details then we have these uh, native APIs application programming interfaces and these are with reference to a certain ecosystem a certain vendor a certain company and then we have ODBC open database connectivity for ODBC which was uh, uh, which was spearheaded by Microsoft it allows installing certain components at the client end which makes the connectivity with the databases such as uh, SQL Server even with Oracle also so that is there over there and these are the benefits and the shortcomings which I mentioned earlier the main benefits are the performance and the shortcomings could be uh, the proprietary nature of the architecture then we have the template driven packages and we have their shortcomings so I will cover the details when we come to those uh, main topics and then we have GUI applications uh, graphical user interfaces now the people which are used to point and click type of environment uh, a visual environment they find these GUI based applications for development for the server side programming very attractive and of course they are attractive and they are easy to use also and the learning curve is not very steep but the downside is that these tools uh, they generate the code and the performance of that code is not same or uh, it's not better than the code which is written by experienced programmers so the, 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 the bottom line over here is that the code written by experienced programmers it performs better as compared to the code generated by point and click visual interface tools then of course we have these issues of uh, 
with reference to database applications running over the internet about the privacy. Privacy means that whatever I am sending over the internet, that is only between me, the sender and the receiver. Then is the integrity. Integrity means that uh, the whatever is sent, we have covered privacy, then is the integrity. Integrity means that whatever I have sent, that does not changes while it's in transition. It does not changes while it is being communicated. That is integrity. Then is the authenticity. Authenticity means that if someone is sending me something, then I am sure that this person is the person who has sent that data, that information to me. And then is the non-fabrication. Non-fabrication means that the it is not fabricated. I cannot fabricate myself. And the other aspect as per different authors is that the sender cannot fabricate himself or herself. That is the non-fabrication. Non-repudiation. Non-repudiation means that if I send something over the internet, I send email, then I cannot say or that the sender cannot say that the sender did not send it. So if the, the data comes from a web server as per my request, then the web server or uh, the associated software, there is a trail and that trail associates the sender with the material which has been sent and no illegal request uh, by the client can be made to the main server. For example, the client is not or should not be allowed to inject code in a text box and that code runs on the server. And of course, that uh, mo no malicious code can be sent from the other end. So it kind of ensures the security, the general, these are the general security issues for web-based applications. Now see that a web-based application is a collection and a combination of many, many modules. And of course, uh, then there are proxies, then there are firewalls, authentication certificates, and the list goes on. We'll cover all of this in the subsequent modules.